Today I'll be making spring rolls and these are the ingredients that I'm going to need. I've got spring roll pastry sheets, bean sprouts, spring onion, vermicelli rice noodles, some carrots which I'll be grating later, ginger and garlic. I've got an optional extra which is a chilli and some sugar and to bring it together with the sauce I've got some dark soy, some light soy and some oyster sauce. I grated the carrot and chopped the spring onions and I put them into some oil now and I'm going to cook these through. The spring onion and carrot are now cooking together and I've just taken off the rawness and I can just get that onion smell. And now I'm putting in the ginger, chopped, and the garlic. I'm just going to cook that through, mix that in, and then we'll be ready for the vermicelli noodles. The garlic and ginger is now cooked, so I'm just popping in the chilli. I'm just giving that a stir. Again, with the chilli, that is optional. It's entirely up to you. And this is only a mild chilli. So it's just a little bit of background flavour. And what I'm going to do now is I've got the rice noodles. And this is important. With the rice noodles, all I'm looking to do is to cut them. What you don't want is when you bite into a pancake roll, you pull in the whole noodle over the pancake roll or the spring rolls, whatever you want to call them. Right, the oyster sauce is going in. That's a tablespoonful. This is the light soy sauce. Again, that's a tablespoonful. And the dark soy. And that's another tablespoonful. And I'm going to mix that through. Get it? See the change in colour and the smell. It smells great. Got a bit of sugar to go in as well. Sugar's in. That's only one tablespoon sugar. We all that mix now, so it's the same colour. And now we're ready to add our bean sprouts. And all we've got to do is just, just warm these gently and then we'll be ready then. I've just taken the rawness now off the bean sprouts and if you remember the order that I went in, carrot and the spring onion go in first, then the vermicelli noodles and then the bean sprouts. That is important because what we don't want to do is overcook the bean sprouts. We've got to get a bit of crunch in the pancake roll. So that's all done now and these are now ready to go into the, there's the filler for the pancake rolls. I brought the mix over and I put it into a sieve and I'm just making sure there's no moisture in there because I don't want any moisture, I need to keep that dry so that when I'm making the spring rolls I'll put that to one side, this is a measurement and that's a quarter of a cup and I'll be using that as a template for each roll this is the spring roll wrap and what I've done, i put a damp towel and keep that on there that stops them from drying out. So I put this in the corner here, just get my spoon. And what I'm going to do is just shape that slightly, bring that round. I always put it in the corner when you're building these, and then you pinch that, bring it over, push it under. See that? Yeah. And then just start bringing that towards. just over halfway, bring this over to there and this one over that way. This is my glue 
a simple flow of water. And here we have it, spring roll. I've used all the mix and I've made 26 spring rolls. So I'm going to take them over to the deep fat fryer and I'm going to do four at a time. But you can freeze these. You can make them and freeze them and use them later. I've got the oil now to the right temperature and I'm putting the pancake rolls in and I'm only doing four at a time. I don't want to overcrowd the pan. These are ready now. I'm just going to lift them up and shake the excess fat off them. Lovely. And put them on some kitchen paper. And what's important when you're cooking these is to make sure that you haven't got the fat too hot. You need it so that you're browning the outside but you're also cooking the inside. Otherwise too high and you'll end up with the outside being cooked, cooked or burnt and the inside won't be cooked thoroughly. I've plated up the spring rolls and I've accompanied it with some Thai sweet chilli sauce. I've cut one in half so you can see the filler. And there we have it. Brad's spring rolls. Enjoy. <laughs>